Alrighty, hello everyone. So my name is Quinn AD, and currently I am the rank one Quinn on the North American server. And on the website League of Graphs, I also own accounts for rank one, two, and three on that website. So that means that I'm also the, the highest ranked Quinn player on three accounts on the whole server. I also own two accounts that are Grandmaster on the server. I'm currently at 276 LP. So before I begin with my tips for you guys on how to climb in solo queue, I want to show you the really good win rate, win uh, streak that I have right now, just to sh prove it to you guys that the tips that I'm about to give you helped me develop this win streak and have more consistent wins. So these are my past 20 games on my match history. And out of my past 20 games, guys, I have won 19 of them. So I'm currently on a 16 game win streak. And out of my past 20 games, I have won 19 of them. Uh, also, all these games are in Challenger ELO. So just to prove it, I'm just going to click on a random game. So right here, I went 5-1-11, got MVP and OPGG. And you can see a bunch of big names like Viper, who's FlyQuest, uh, ASIC, Challenger AD Carry, all these. So all Challenger ELO, and I've been really having consistent success and basically feeling unstoppable right now. And after you guys watch this video, hopefully I'll be able to help you guys develop win streaks just like me as well. All right, so before this video begins, I want to make a quick disclaimer that this tip is a mental tip. So if you guys incorporate this in your gameplay, you're not going to instantly become challenger because you need to focus on mechanics, micro, macro, all that kind of stuff. But you can find those tips on a million YouTube videos. This tip I'm going to give you guys right now, I've received from this one coach that I've had that I have never seen before that really will help you guys i promise so before you guys judge this tip before i even say it i want you guys to try it out for yourselves first and then after you try it out then you guys can criticize it because it's something that sounds absurd at the start i thought so too but when you guys actually try it i guarantee you guys that you will improve your play even just a little bit i promise you guys because it did help me i'm talking from personal experience so enjoy the video boys all right so this is the biggest piece of advice that I could give any league player who actually wants to get better. So I'm going to explain the tip to you guys. Then I'm going to show you actual proof through timestamps that it actually changed me from a hard stuck diamond five player to master right away. And I will show you guys. So I'm going to tell you guys a tip first. And before you guys come in with skepticism, then I'm going to back it up with proof. And I'll explain why the tip is good right after that. So all you have to do, boys, is go on YouTube and type in something like five minute interval timer. You can click on any of the videos. It doesn't really matter. So, for example, I'll click this video. And essentially, just like the title of the video says, every five minutes, a loud beat plays. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So I was just counting down. And that last beep, the loud one, it's going to do that every five minutes. So what I want you guys to do to get better at League is every single League game that you play, every single one, yes, this includes ARAMs, games with your friends, normals, ranked, absolutely every single League game that you boys play. I want you to have this interval timer in the background. So I'm playing League, for example, I'll just start the video and every five minutes it's going to keep going and if you want you can also loop the video too it doesn't really matter you just want it it's two hours long it depends how long you're playing league but essentially every game you're playing league you want this interval timer video to be playing and now you might be thinking why on earth am i going to do this this sounds so dumb and i thought the same thing so i'm going to show you guys the proof of first of all where i learned the tip and how it helped me so i'm going to pull a discord of last summer so a little context is last season or last summer june 14th 2018 around this time beginning of june i joined a turn well, i joined the beginning of june so a little bit before this i joined a tournament with my support who i knew from school because we were a part of the collegiate team and during the summer we wanted to make a league team and we had a coach and everything so my coach's name was zen and he is the person who told me this tip so these are chat log proof of it working for me so right here i let him know that i'm uh, i started diamond four like i'm a hard stuck diamond four player at this time right so i was uh i really couldn't get past the diamond four barrier and this day right here so june 14th he tells me the tip i just told you guys i'm gonna scroll down uh he says it right here how many times have you used the interval timer this week so this week he introduced me to this interval timer tip right so uh 
I he told me about the tip at this time. So I just want to show you guys a timestamp. So remember June 14th, 2018, he introduced me to the interval timer. And up here, I show you guys I Hearthstone Diamond player. So now I am going to bring up more statistical proof. So right here uh, on my Reddit page, uh, June 25th, 2018, that's literally 11 days later. I made it to master for the first time ever and I held it for the whole season. So right there, statistical proof, diamond for hard stuck. Right after he taught me the tip, 11 days later, boys, master, first time ever. So now I'm going to explain why this tip helps and why I recommend for you guys to do it as well. All right, so like I said, boys, what I want you to do is play that five minute interval timer in the background of your league game. So for example, I'll be playing the game, I'll be doing my thing, and in the background, every five minutes, you're gonna hear that beep that I showed you guys earlier. Now you guys might be thinking, like I thought when my coach told me this for the first time, what on earth is this gonna do, bro? Like how would this get me better at league? Well, I'll explain it right now. So essentially, what this tip does, boys, is it gets you better at league because it gets you out uh it helps you break bad habits and more specifically it helps you get out of autopilot mode and some of you may not some of you boys may know what that means but some of you may not so in the league sense the term autopilot playing on autopilot means you're playing the game right but since you've been playing for so long you aren't fully playing like you're not fully conscious if that makes sense so for example i'll be here i'll be last hitting since i've been playing league so much like i know what to do i just like play the game and i still like do the stuff i'm supposed to be doing but my consciousness isn't fully invested in the game so that means that if you're playing on autopilot boys it means that you're going to be making dumb mistakes that you know you shouldn't be making but you make them anyway so perfect example for me as a quinn player is what happens is my champ gets ganked like ganked camped probably more than any other top laner in the game just because of the nature of me running ignite and my champ being so easy to gank so what ends up happening what a lot of people see on my stream too because i make the mistake sometimes too because i'm not perfect i still play on autopilot sometimes especially when i'm streaming but what happens is i know that the jungler is going to come at around three minutes uh when the game starts i know i'm gonna get ganked around that time and when i'm playing on autopilot say if i'm long in the stream and i'm getting really tired and stuff i'll be playing and i'll end up pushing the lane and i know i shouldn't be doing that without a ward but i do it anyways and then what happens the jungler ganks me and kills me and i'm sure you guys know that too you guys make mistakes that you know you shouldn't be making but you make them anyways and then you die and you cost yourself the game for it that means that you're playing on autopilot just like i do sometimes and like i did a lot before when i was a hard stuck diamond four player so what, what this does boys i want to give you guys a quick example so right here you'll be playing the game right you'll be last hitting and i'll be going last hitting doing my thing and then you hear that beep so every five minutes you can hear that beep and what that beep comes boys what i want you to do is i want you to keep playing the game right like say if i'm laning and i'm last hitting you'll still focus on that but you'll consciously think about the game proactively and like a more conscious setting so for example while i'm last hitting i hear that beep and then when i hear that beep i'm like oh yeah um what time of the game is it do i have my ward up should i be warding right here how much gold do i have do i need for my next item uh where is the jungler right now like think of thoughts like that like oh i, I didn't see the jungler for a while where is he um what should i be doing next what's the time around dragon just think of like kind of like thoughts like that you don't have to think about all the ones i just listed but just i want you to do is just think conscious thoughts like the one i did so more out of just like oh i'm just laning just focusing on the here and now let me focus on the more macro kind of sense of the game all right, and when I was editing the video, I forgot to mention this too. So on top of just focusing on the macro sense of the game, no matter what point of the game it is, boys, when you hear that beep go off, think thoughts like, what could I do at this point to help my team win the game? So this applies to anything. Let's say if your team's hella behind and the beep goes off, and then I want you to start thinking thoughts like, instead of you like, say if you're on, if you're a person who tilt, tilts really well, this also helps you get off tilt. So you hear the beep, it goes off. Instead of thinking like, oh, let me flame my teammates. Transition your thoughts to think like, oh, what could I do at this moment to help my team win the game? So press alt tab, be like, oh, they have a 600, a Kaiso who's worth 600 gold bounty. So our win con the game is killing the kaisa how could we do it you start thinking thoughts like that so if your team's really far ahead think oh what can we do next can we go baron can we go top tower can we do this that that think those conscious thoughts and if you're saying it's the same thing applies if you're even oh uh what kind of objectives can we go for if you're really behind like i said absolutely any point in the game 
I want you to just think those kind of thoughts more than just the here and now. And over time, as you boys do this, it is really going to help you get off autopilot. So let's think for analogy, um, you're playing, you're riding your bike. When you learn how to ride your bike, eventually over time, when you master it, you don't even think about it. You literally just move your feet, pedal, without you even realizing it. That is what autopilot is on Leap. When you put so much time into this game, you eventually go on autopilot and you start playing without actually thinking about it. So just like your bike, when you just move your feet without even consciously putting thought into it, same thing with League. But the difference is it's very bad for you to do it in League because it is a mental game. So if you're playing on reflex without even thinking, you're just playing the game, hardly thinking about it you are going to make a lot more mistakes so when you hear these interval timers over time you are going to train your brain to get out of those bad habits and when you get out of those bad habits you start winning more games and on top of that i know you guys might be thinking thoughts like oh but what's the point of the timer like this is stuff i kind of already know because the timer helps you reinstall this idea and it's like basically just a reminder because when you're playing the game you're so focused on the here and now and all that when you're on autopilot it's just a bad habit it's hard to even though you might know that you have to try and get on autopilot it's hard to do if you, it's a big habit it's a long habit you know what i mean so this timer is literally just a reminder so when you hear the beep you you know what kind of thoughts you want to think about beep goes off then you think those thoughts over time you develop good habits and then eventually you learn how to play out of autopilot and then you put yourself at a big advantage over your opponent and what this does boys it, it breaks bad habits that's essentially what it is that's why i want you guys to run this interval timer every single game including normals including aram games with your boys every single game because if you only do this in like some games it will not break your bad habit i want you to do this every single game just set like a time frame for yourself like oh for three weeks every game i play i'm gonna have this interval timer in the background just every just like set a time frame for yourself and then by doing that eventually you're going to train your brain because every five minutes is going to come and you're going to train your brain to get out of autopilot mode and what you're going to notice is around like one to two weeks you'll be like playing the game and you'll be so conscious and in the game and you'll find yourself making less mistakes so the reason why autopilot what the whole thing does is what i like to think about it autopilot basically puts yourself at like 70 percent potential and getting yourself out of autopilot with this interval timer for example Will help you get closer to your 100 potential so by listening to this tip boys this interval timer by following it does not mean that you're gonna become master in a week kind of like because i got 11 days 11 days from this tip i got master but that's because my potential was up there but the reason why i couldn't climb is because i was playing on autopilot so i couldn't reach my full potential so what this tip does boys it helps you get to your 100 potential so your 100 potential might be gold you might be a silver two player finding yourself hard to get out of the silver two kind of barrier by doing this interval timer you'll play at the 100 potential that you have and if you're a gold player mechanically you'll find yourself getting to gold is whatever your potential is so that's what this autopilot thing does it doesn't mean that you're going to instantly become the best player in the game because we all know that mechanics micro macro all that kind of stuff is the most important at the end of the day but this helps you get to your full potential so that you can accomplish your goals and all of that so i know i know for me for example i found myself playing on autopilot all the time and that's why i really couldn't climb too much but think about it boys you guys might be the same thing too if you guys can relate to it that means that most opponents that you play against also play on autopilot. So if you can train yourself to get out of autopilot, you instantly put yourself at an advantage over your opponent because so many league players play on autopilot. So many big streamers. Like if you guys watch Tyler One or Hishin Shin, Tyler One is probably the biggest the best example for this tip he does plays on autopilot all the time you'll see him like when he played did his 10k bow with this 10k bet with mo when they were playing together this dude would tilt into oblivion and go on like 100 lp loss streaks not because he's a bad player but because he's been playing on autopilot for all those games and that's why he's been making dumb mistakes like overextending even though he knows as a challenger player that you shouldn't be overextending like that he'll do it anyway because boys why he's playing on autopilot so he's not in his full potential so although he's a challenger player he found himself getting demoted to diamond one because he wasn't at his full potential because he was on autopilot so like i showed you guys boys 11 days with this tip got me to master so i want you guys before you guys judge it before you introduce your skepticism like oh this tip sounds so dumb buddy why am i gonna try this before you have all that because 
when I when my coach told me this tip, I essentially thought the exact same thoughts. Trust me, exact same thoughts. I'm like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Then I tried it, and then I realized, like, wow, I can't believe that that actually worked. I actually find myself going on 19 game win streaks, like I showed you on my Grandmaster account. I find myself winning more games. I find myself doing a lot better. I make myself f making less mistakes simply because I'm playing the game more consciously and I'm actually playing towards my full potential. So thank you boys for tuning in and, and watching this video. And please, please, please share your opinions and your thoughts after you tried this. So if you try this tip and you find it that it helped you, please comment it down below and share your tips just so we can show people that this stuff actually works and uh, i hope that it helps you guys and i will see you boys next time peace